Hello and welcome back on my channel. My name is Tom and today I am going to show you a nice little extra to or little monster cat template visualization template thingy. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, the first the first recording was uh, interrupted by the doorbell, so this is actually the second time I am talking all of this and it's, uh, it's just annoying. But anyway, let's Go ahead. So you know that there is in the actual Monster Cat template there is this album art. I don't know what to call it, but yeah, it's it's turning, and yeah. Cat. I'm just gonna make it quarter because I can't work with it any other way. My PC is just very very slow. Very 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 slow. Uh, actually just move it, fitting, yeah, somewhere around this. So now a little pro tip, just duplicate the layer and drag and drop your second picture while holding down alt. And this is doing this so that you actually have both pictures. Maybe we're just gonna go uh like the real one so that i don't know till 15 seconds and then it changes so something like that so till here it is the normal album let me just make it like that it's the album and after this a few frames later it will be the artist so this is actually what we want to create and this thing should turn. How do we do this? It's actually not that hard. We have to scale it, but without this thing. So we just have to scale it in the horizontal way. So no, this is not horizontal. So that we simply make this vanishing, so to say. Drag this size down to 0%. And you see it's gone. And let's go. This is our ending frame. Maybe, yeah, that should be okay. And it all depends on uh, to which side you would like to turn it. This is actually all what it depends on. So this is actually the size for this thing. Go 10 frames, maybe 20 frames backwards. And if you don't know the key combination, it is shift and uh, I think picture down. I don't know. My keyboard is uh, in German, so <laughs> I kind of like have problems with that. But actually, yeah, something like that. And then it is 100, no, 62 to 62.8. God damn it. Okay, so this will be the animation for this. Yeah, just gonna render that out right quick. I don't know why I have this, the, the work areas that big, but it's okay, it's okay. Everything is okay. So drag this somewhere over here. Just render that out right quick. Yeah, actually the problem is that I have uh, something in the background. So there you can see it. This is just what we want to create. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, so this thing is just, it looks like it's actually turning so that you will actually have to do the same thing but really the other way around. So just go to scale on that layer. Now what you can do is just copy those keyframes and paste them. And yeah, that's kind of actually what we want to create, but first of all, we have to move this keyframe out of the way. 
and we have to use this keyframe as the first one. Now what we want to do is we're going to go 20 frames forward and this is it I think. Should be it, just pre-render it. And there you go. This is the effect you want to create. So if you want to do it advanced, then you could actually just enable the motion blur, which would look a lot better. And a lot more realistic. Well, actually, this is the only way to do it without turning into into 3D mode, which I don't really like because, as you know, I said it already, <laughs> I'm working on a laptop, netbook, whatever. And yeah, this is actually the easiest way to create this thing. And you can do this over and over again throughout the whole video. And it's just very easy to do and it's just a very cool effect, as you can see. And yeah, maybe you can make this uh, the, the, the transition a little bit smoother than I did because I don't have any transition. Maybe just, I don't know. Yeah, this is a little bit smoother, I think. But, you know, you can play around with the settings. I don't, it doesn't have to be like that. And yeah, I'm gonna save this right quick and I'm going to upload this. Well, this is actually very, very big. <clears throat> but nevertheless, it is okay. Um, you can just adjust the size as I am going to do in a few seconds. But this is actually the effect we want to create. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video. If, you, if it helped you out, then please leave a like, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.